Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be discussing about relays and their working. I'm gonna show you how you can actually build a relay in my next video. So let's start. A relay is uh, it's nothing but a switch. A switch is something which opens a circuit or closes a circuit. So to understand this concept, I've drawn a simple circuit here. So in this circuit, A and B is the switch and here is a battery or it's a power supply and this is the bulb so one end of the battery is connected to the bulb and the other end is connected to one end of the switch when the switch is closed the path will be closed and hence the bulb glows when the switch is open it means that it's an open circuit and will not get the output in this case the bulb will not glow a relay exactly does the same thing to understand the working of relay, let's draw a simple circuit. So here I have drawn a simple relay circuit. In this relay circuit, this is the control switch which uh, energizes this electromagnet. Uh, this is an electromagnet. So uh, we have given uh, 5 volt to energize this magnet and uh, this is uh, one part of the uh, relay. This is the second part. In this part there are actually three pins. One is the common pin and NC means normally closed and NO means normally open. This is called normally open because this is not connected to any arm. So we call this line as the arm of the relay. So uh, here we have connected a bulb. One end of the bulb is connected to normally open and the other end is connected to one, turn, one end of the uh, 250 volt supply. The other end of the supply is given to the common pin. So this is what actually happens in a relay. So when we turn on this switch, this is a control switch. So when we turn on this, this electromagnet will be energized. And uh, hence the surrounding magnetic field will be intensified, which means the strength of the magnetic field increases. So when the magnetic field strength increases, it uh, attracts this arm towards itself this arm will come here and this path will be closed so once the path is closed the bulb will glow now the electromagnet is energized what happens when you turn off this switch so when you turn off this switch this magnet will be de-energized of course a spring or some other force will pull this arm back to its initial position that is from common to normally closed so the arm will be back to its initial position that is normally closed and now this path will not be closed it will be open and hence the bulb goes off so this is the basic working of a relay so here as you can see this is a complete relay module i'll explain this with a circuit later and uh, this is the main thing this is the relay this is what i've explained here so this is the relay part and this is the uh, other part so in this relay there are five pins this is normally closed this is normally open center one is the common and these are the two pins where the electromagnet is connected so this is how the connection will be inside the relay to understand the working of a relay module and uh, to actually build one uh, I've drawn a simple circuit here so here as you can see this is the relay which I've explained this is the normally closed pin normally open pin and the common pin and uh, this electromagnet is completely controlled by this part of the circuit so here is the control switch or the control input which we will give it's uh, assumed to be a 5 volt this is R1 a resistor and this is R2 here is an optocoupler we are using transistor as a switch here here's the diode and there's the relay 
uh, this optocoupler is just used to isolate this uh, the control input or whatever the part here on this side of the uh, of your system and the relay part because relay actually handles 250 volt ac 250 volt input so to protect your circuit this side this optocoupler is used as an isolator so when the diode is forward biased in this optocoupler uh, it's not a normal diode it's a photo diode so it starts emitting uh, light this is a photo transistor which conducts when it receives some amount of light from the photo diode so when we give 5 volt here this diode will be forward biased of course and uh, we'll get some output at point a some uh, current flowing at point a so this will uh, turn on the switch because uh, this is given to the base terminal of the transistor this path will be closed here so this will be grounded it is acting as a switch so this path will be directly connected to the ground so if this is connected to ground and we have given 5 volt here so this diode will be reverse biased since the diode is reverse biased whatever the current flowing from this path flowing through this path it will not uh, go to the open circuit it will directly energize the electromagnet here so once it energizes the arm from common to normally closed will be pulled towards common to normally open so if we have connected a bulb to this end and a power supply to the common pin the bulb now glows so uh, when we give 0 volt as the control input that means when we switch off will not get any output here this uh, transistor will be open so it will not it will not be connected to the ground there will be some voltage left at this point called the residual voltage and at this point there will be zero volt or no energy no current so in this case the diode will be forward biased so if the diode is forward biased this path will be closed and the electromagnet will now become de-energized so once it is de-energized, the arm will be pulled back to its initial position and the path will be open and the bulb goes off. So this is the working of a relay module. Uh, you can build your own relay module with the help of this circuit. So I'll be building a relay module in my next video. That's it about this video. I hope you guys have liked it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.